this video will concentrate on Pareto principles and charts. At the end of this video, you should be able to understand the basics of Pareto principles, where it can be applied in real life, how to collect and tabulate the data, and how to plot the graph. Let's start by considering this question. A certain college took a survey to solve the problem of students turning up late for lectures. And the following table shows the collected reasons from students. Draw a Pareto chart for this respondent. From this table, 45 students says the turn up late due to traffic. 38 were due to child care. 30 was due to public transport. 25 was due to weather. 15 overslept. And 7 was due to emergency. Before we solve this problem, let's look at some principles. In statistics, visual data is better for presentation. And bar, P, and Pareto chart help with visualization. The Pareto chart was named after Vilfredo Pareto, an Italian economist who invented the Pareto principle. This principle was initially based on population and wealth. Pareto noticed in 1906 that approximately 80% of Italy's land was owned by 20% of the population. Surprisingly, Similar surveys were carried out in different countries and Pareto prediction and distribution applied. Pareto principle to applies to other human activity. Pareto principle states that 20% of vital time spent on tasks can produce 80% of results. Subsequently, 80% of time spent on trivial tasks lose 20% of results. This is Pareto principle. Also, consider a shopping mall where the management gets a lot of complaints. Pareto law and principles equally applies. It has been statistically proven that 80% of the customer complaints are usually from 20% of the customers. This is the 80-20 rule. Pareto chart enables organization to focus time where most return can be achieved. How does Pareto chart looks like? A Pareto chart is a special type of bar chart that contains both bar chart and line together in a graph. A Pareto chart contains two y axis and just one x axis the x axis will be the problem that we want to solve the left of the y axis will contain while the right of the y axis will contain the cumulative percentage the bars are represented in descending order and the cumulative total is represented by a slightly curved line. The Pareto chart is easy to draw. Considering the given question, consider step-by-step -step method of solving this problem using the given student response. Step number one, add cumulative frequency and cumulative percentage columns to the table. Step number two, Compute for the cumulative frequency. We start with 45. Next, 45 plus 38. You got 83. Next, 83 plus 30. And you got 113. Next, 113 plus 25. 138. Next, 138 plus 15. 153. Next, 153 plus 7. And you got 160. Step 3. Solve for the cumulative percentage. If you add the total number of the frequency, adding each of the frequency, get 160, which we equally got here. To calculate for the cumulative percentage, the 160 is going to be constant for each row. For each row, the only value that changes is the cumulative 
frequency value. Now, our Pareto chart table is complete. Step 4. With the help of a graph paper, we can now plot the Pareto chart. Consider the frequency column. The highest number is 45. Y7 is the smallest number. On the frequency axis, we consider 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45, 50. And the cumulative frequency got 28.13 as the smallest and 100 as the highest. While on the right, for the cumulative percentage 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Next, we are going to plot the frequency against reasons for lateness and it's going to be a bar chart. Let's start with traffic which is 45. The frequency for traffic is 45 which is this point. Hence, this is a bar for traffic. Next, let's consider child care which is 38 and for child care 38 is somewhere here. This is the bar chart for child care. Next, let's consider public transport, which is 30. This is public transport, and 30 is here. This is the bar chart for public transport. Next, let's consider weather, which is 25. This is weather, and the respondent is 25. This is a bar chart for weather. Now, let's consider students that overslept. We are 15. Hence, this is overslept and they are 15. This is a bar chart. Next, let's consider students that turn up late due to emergency. They are 7. This is emergency. And 7 is here. Hence, plot the bar. Having completed the bar chart, next is to plot the cumulative percentage against reasons for lateness. For the cumulative frequency column, it's not needed for the graph. However, it was a vital column to enable us get the cumulative frequencies for the cumulative percentage. Hence, we start with the traffic and we have here as 28.13. 28.13 is somewhere here and we trace it straight to this point. Hence, we are going to mark this on the traffic bar. Next, child care is 51.88. 51.88 is here. Trace it straight to child care. Hence, we we'll mark this point on the bar of child care. Next is public transport which is 70.63. 70.63 is here and we trace it straight until we get here and we mark out the point, which have to be above the public transport. Next is weather, which is 86.25. And 86.25 is somewhere here. And we trace it until we get here and we mark it. The points have to be right at the top of weather. And for overslept, we got 95.63. And 95.63 is somewhere here. I will trace it, get to this point, and we mark it. This should be more accurate with a graph, ruler, and pencil. And for emergency, it is 100%. Hence, 100% will be here which is right above emergency. Next, join all the cumulative percentage points. Next, for the 80-20 principle, draw, this is 80%, draw a line until it touch the cumulative percentage curve. Next, you bring it down. Hence, these are the vital few, and these are the trivial many this is statistics so get other videos you can use the link on the screen i hope this was helpful 
I will see you in the next video.